On gas, you, you just said that, you know, less supply raises prices. It's not in our strategic interest to reduce the supply. Yeah. We also know, you know, the president, as recently as yesterday, talked about increasing domestic manufacturing to bring down prices on uh, inflated items like goods. So why not apply the same logic to energy and increase domestic production here? Well, there are 9,000 approved oil leases that the oil companies are not tapping into currently, so I would ask them that question. Is there nothing that the administration can do to get those providers back to pre-pandemic levels? Do you think the oil companies don't have enough money to drill on the places that have been pre-approved? Just asking. I would, I would point that question to them, and we can talk about it more tomorrow when you learn more. Do you think that opening the Keystone pipeline and having more energy-friendly policies might do that? The Keystone Pipeline has never been operational. It would take years for that to have any impact. I know a number of members of Congress have suggested that, but that is a proposed solution that has no relationship or would have no impact on what the problem is. We hear all agree is an issue. So during that, those years where it would you know, take to bring down prices, as you're saying, we should just continue to buy Russian oil? Well, again, Jackie, I think you're familiar with a number of steps we've taken, a historic release from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Well, we can, well, let me finish. What we can do over time, and what this is all a reminder of in the President's view, is our need to reduce our reliance on oil. The Europeans need to do that. We need to do that. If we do more to invest in clean energy, more to invest in other sources of, in of energy, that's exactly what we can do to prevent this uh, from happening in the future. We welcome any Republicans from joining us in that effort. As Go long, ahead. As long as we're buying Russian oil, though, aren't we financing the war? Well, Jackie, again, uh, it's only about 10 percent of what we're importing. Uh, I've not made any announcement about any decision on that front, but our objective here and our focus is making sure that any step we take maximizes the impact on President Putin and minimizes it on the American people. And anyone who's calling for uh, an end to the carve-out uh, should be clear that that would rise, raise prices. Go We're seriously dealing with a climate cult here. They don't give a damn if the average person out there is paying way too much for gas and can't afford it. They don't care if we have to continue paying Putin for oil that we could be drilling in our own country. And her response to that is, oh, well, that oil, we won't have that oil for a couple years now. But then at the same time, she talks about how their policies take a long time to work. How does it not make sense to continue drilling and make this country energy independent so that we won't be reliable on Russia? And Europe won't have to be reliant on Russia either. They can buy oil from us. But instead, they're gonna adhere to this almost religious belief that we cannot use oil. We can't go to any solutions that might use oil because oil is the devil. And renewable energy sources, those are Jesus. And look, I'm not saying that I'm against renewable energy sources. I'm not. I love the idea and I think someday we'll probably get there. But that day is not now, nor is it decades from now. And in the meantime, all you're doing is punishing Americans and making people reliant on the worst people in this world. Saki talks about all these historic things that they're doing, like opening the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. But we don't even have to do that. We can just drill and get our own oil. We now have video of Biden's energy secretary admitting that what they're doing Doing is a quote controlled demolition through an energy transition. The bottom line is that this president and this administration are looking at every single tool to shield American families from the impact of rising energy prices. And we're working through we're working through an energy transition. And we've got to start by adding energy. And the reality is we have to take some time to get off of oil and gas. We recognize this, this is a transition. Folks, they don't care how much they have to hurt you. It's like I always talk about, the reason they talk in such hyperbolic terms is to justify actions like this. They can hurt the American people and empower our enemies because they're telling themselves that they're saving the planet. It's literally a cult and we have to vote these people out of power before it's too late. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Just a quick one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and then leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thank you.